Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, we have another mail call opening. We have a lot of mail to open up for today's mail call. We have one, two, three, four, this one's very big, five, six, that's because it's two pieces of mail, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, <laughs> a lot. Uh, I do apologize for it right now. I feel like I got the sniffles like randomly. I got home and I just, my nose has been like, I've been sneezing every couple minutes. So I do apologize about that if I sneeze in this video, but back on topic here. So what should we be getting today in today's mail call video, if you guys are wondering? Um, we should be getting a couple of interesting things. Uh, we should be getting uh, the rest of things I wanted out of Duelist Saga, which is cool. Um, some random stuff I wanted out of Duelist Saga. Uh, we should be getting a new deck that I will be profiling probably within the next month. Uh, me and my friend Mike were playing online. I just woke up one night and I was like, I want to build this deck. And then I started play testing with my friend Mike, uh, Mike uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tolly. And uh, after testing, we found out, you know what? This deck is not too bad. So <laughs> I built the deck and I brought the deck. And he's like, I can't believe you brought it. I was like, well, you know, I, I'm going to play this deck. So first off, uh, I'm not going to open this up fully right now, but I'm just going to open it up for later for myself. But there should be in here uh, three Elemental Hero Honest Neos. Um, you probably can't tell there, but there's actually three of them. I'm trying to get it open here. But yeah, I can get it out. But yeah, I, I do apologize. I got the sniffles really bad right before I started this video. But three Honesty Neos. Great card. You can run it as a one or a two of, but it's a very good card and um, very useful card. That's really cool. But you see the sleeve on there. It's a chaotic sleeve. I haven't seen anybody play chaotic in years. I know they stopped making it, but it was a TV show back when I was a kid. I never thought I'd see a chaotic sleeve ever for a Yu-Gi-Oh card. But whatever works, works. Ah, uh, Sukiyomi. So I got Wii Phantom. So, <laughs> I was playing with my deck, and um, I accidentally bent one of my cards, uh, Witty Phantom. Uh, if you guys don't know what Witty Phantom is, I bent it in the Yugi Structure deck. It came out of the Yugi Structure deck years and years ago, but I bent it, so I had to pick up another Witty Phantom. I just bent this side. I was like, ah, oh, I can't stand it. And I just brought a Tsukiyomi for goat control along with the Witty Phantom, just because hollow out goats. Fix the uh, bent card in my Seto Kaiba structure deck. So that was cool. It was like 10 cents and I was like, oh dear gosh. And I saw they had Tsukiyomi and I was like, okay, I'll just buy the Tsukiyomi for like 50 cents more. <laughs> oh yeah, this was for the uh, sharks. I forgot about this deck I wanted to build, but I probably should be, would be able to build this too. So. I've been also trying out uh, building a shark-based deck, along with Crab Turtle, I should add. Um, I haven't had the time to really test the deck out, but I I remember when I was watching OCG deck profiles like two years ago, like I was watching them play sharks. Um, it kind of uses, you know, the cards that, pretty much all the cards we just got out of uh, Duelist Saga that are, are shark-based and with some other ones tagged along. And, um... I remember it was a very good deck back then when I watched it being played in the OCG and whatnot. But uh, I'll probably be building it too. But I got uh, the band played on, one Battle Fader just because it's Battle Fader and I needed to make it a dollar. And two Water Hazard for the Shark deck because this is like double summon for the Shark deck. Uh, makes you be able to summon, special summon out water monsters easily. So two of this, one of this, and this, the band played on because this is a good side deck card in some formats. Uh, so, went ahead and got it. What else do we have here? A lot of little things here. Just hollowing out things as we go. Ah! Okay, so... <laughs> this is a fun little story here, I'll tell you guys. So, I was uh, talking to a friend of mine. And he's like, Seto, because Future Fusion's coming back and everything, have you ever wanted to build like a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon deck? 
I was like, yeah, you know, I've always wanted to build one, but then Future Fusion got banned back in the day, and I kind of said, you know what, never mind. And then I said, you know what I really want to build? A Blue Eyes Shining Dragon deck. You know, the movie from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. I've always wanted to build a deck around that, just for fun, not for competitive play. And well, nowadays we have enough Blue Eyes stuff, and it's easy enough to get Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon on the field. So, I got one Neutron Blast, because number one, I just like the artwork of Neutron Blast. Okay. Number two, I'll probably play this as just a one of in the deck profile that I'll be building uh, over the summertime, where I just want to try to make Blue Eyes Shining Dragon a deck, <laughs> quote unquote, <laughs> because you'll probably run Dragon's Mirror as a one of or a two of, and run one Future Fusion, and uh, maybe a Poly War King of the Swamp type of build. I don't know. I I built a deck based on it before the structure that came out. For Blue Eyes White Dragon back in 2013. So like in early 2013, I did attempt to build a deck that could do it. I uh, used King of the Swamp and things of that nature. It was pretty decent. Uh, next we got more things from Duelist Saga here. I'm sorry, sorry guys, my sniffles. So what else we got here? We got another Judgment Dragon. Uh, for that, you know, I love I love the artwork of Judgment Dragon. It looks so beautiful as a hollow. Judgment Dragon, my second Magician of Faith, uh, Hero Lives, double of those, uh, stuff for the water deck. So this I may run in uh, the Shark deck, but most likely in Crab Turtle, because this is pretty dang good in Crab Turtle dot deck. This card here, uh, Sea Lord Amulet. Oh my gosh, my nose! It's killing me! Ah, cool. Uh, more stuff from um, uh, the uh, Duelist Saga set. Uh, Vision Hero for different decks of mine. I got three of him to make a dollar, pretty much. I'm looking for where the heck the other stuff is at that I really am looking forward to opening up for you guys. Oh yeah, this card. So I got this. I, I'm not gonna uh, open this up too. Oh my gosh. We got a uh, three contract with down thousand. This is a really good draw card for certain decks out there. Um, maybe Exodia. I'll run it in. I don't know yet. I need to play test around a little bit, you know. But uh, it's definitely a very good card. So I did get um, that card uh, for the. For different decks out there that I always build, as you guys know. Next, let's open this up. Dewaya Forever. Huh. I have no idea what the heck that is. Uh, not using so much to open up because I can rip a lot of these cards open. I hope one day I do not rip a card in half. I would be so upset. Oh, sweet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So this... Oh, please don't tell me you bent in packaging. Oh, dear gosh, no. What the hell happened here? What the hell did you guys do? Oh my gosh, they bent everything. Core TCG, you've never done this to me before. What the hell? I mean, I can straighten them out. It's not like permanent bent. It's just like warped type of bent. What the hell? I think it was the packaging. What the hell did you guys do? <laughs> Well, I can straighten these cards out, but my gosh, look at that. That is the worst I've had in forever, but it's, it's, it's fixable. It's like the cards are not dented or bent. They're just like warped a little bit. This though, it's like they shoved it in there, but that got destroyed. Holy Moses, what the hell they do? I'm gonna have to ask for a refund for that because that is awful. They like bent that card, that card, Pointless, what the hell? 
I can fix the rest of these. These the rest of them are safe, like. But this is earthbound stuff I got. I got earthbound immortal cashew. This didn't get bent, thank gosh. Uh the mausoleums are a little bent, but they're fixable. They're like if you put them in a sleeve, you they'll be fine within like a day or two. Uh earthbound immortal offerings. Yeah, these cards can be fixed up, but those two I can't. I, I, and then I got a Secret Earthbound Line Walker, which apparently did not get bent for some reason. But luckily, the two cards that are the most, the two hollow cards that were important, and exp, you know, this was like a dollar, this was a dollar, like two, three dollars, a dollar, they didn't get bent. So these two cards are pointless because this is like damaged here, and this is like ripped. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too happy about that there. But luckily these two will be fine once I put them in sleeves, you know. They're fixable. But I'm going to ask for a refund on that because that is stupid. That was stupidly bent. Like, thing, the plastic was bent. Wow. Um, Alright, next up. Uh, we got... Legacy of the Hero. I got two of these. I'm not going to open this up because I want to make this video a little bit faster. But, yep. Two Legacy of the Hero. We got some more Earthbound Immortal stuff here coming in. Give me a second to get it out. Luckily, this is not bent. <laughs> Core TCG, you're usually good, but damn. Uh, we got Earth My Mortal Revival, which is pretty much like a revival card. That's a little damaged. Oh, that's just like food or something. Like somebody was eating a donut. What the hell? It's just a donut. It's like frosting. What the hell? Uh, then uh, Fate uh, Earth. This is pretty much like Harpy's Feather Duster and uh, Earthbound Revival. So that we got some of those cards there. That looks a little weird. What the heck? It's like icing. I'm trying to figure out what the heck's wrong with it. It doesn't look damaged or anything. It just, yeah. I think it's my eyes playing tricks on me. I don't see any damage on it. <laughs> Not like these other two over here. My gosh, that was awful. But uh, yeah, let's continue opening this up. What other Earthbound stuff we get in the mail today so I can build the Earthbound Immortal, um, blah, 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 blah. Earthbound immortal deck. Uh, I got an Earthbound, Earthbound Revival, which is cool. Uh, Earthbound Wave, this card's amazing. So, three Earthbound Wave. This card is can stop spell and traps, which is nice. Yeah, but I can't wait to build this Earthbound Mortal deck. It's going to be really cool. We got some more Dark Greffers, I think, in here, if I remember correctly. Dark Greffer and an Earthbound Immortal Line Walker. So I run two of this because I run Summon a Monk in the deck. And you run two Dark Greffer. In the deck. Yep. Two Dark Greffer and Summon a Monk. And lastly, we run here. Um, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Dark Summoning Beast, the last card I need actually for a deck I'm building for you guys. But that's all. I'm, I'm going to end the video right now, guys, because i got to blow my nose, and I do apologize. But till next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Good luck dueling to all of you guys, and take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.